At the 25th annual Mark Twain Prize for American Humor presentation on Sunday, Kevin Hart was joined by his family. Alongside his wife Aniko, 39, and their four children, sons Hendrix, 16, and Kenzo, 6, and daughters Heaven, 19, and Kaori, 3, the 44-year-old comic strolled the Kennedy Center red carpet. The actor from Ride Along welcomed Heaven and Hendrix with his ex-wife Torre Hart, from whom he separated in 2010, while he shares Kaori and Kenzo with Aniko. Kevin received the coveted Mark Twain Prize, which is given to one of the best humorists in the world every year, while wearing a navy tuxedo jacket and matching slacks. Tiffany Haddish, Chris Rock, Chelsea Handler, Nick Cannon, and other celebrities joined Kevin and his family in celebrating this amazing accomplishment. Amidst a thunderous standing ovation, Kevin ascended the stage to accept the prize after a charming red carpet presentation with his delightful family. The celebrity remarked in a statement prior to the event that it felt odd to be honored during this momentous year. The Kennedy Center website states that the Mark Twain Prize recognizes individuals who have had an impact on American society in ways similar to the distinguished 19th century novelist and essayist Samuel Clemens, colloquially known as Mark Twain. Comedy is my outlet for social commentary and observations on life, I am grateful to the Kennedy Center for recognizing my voice and impact on culture. Clemens was a fearless observer of society who delighted and informed onlookers with his uncompromising perspective on social injustice and personal folly. He was also a humorist, social commentator, and character creator. On October 20, 1998, during the first Kennedy Center celebration of American humor, Richard Pryor was awarded the inaugural Mark Twain Prize. A few other previous recipients are Tina Fey, 2010, Will Ferrell, 2011, Julia Louis-Dreyfus, 2018, Dave Chappelle, 2019, John Stewart, 2022, Jonathan Winters, 1999, Carl Reiner, 2000, Whoopi Goldberg, 2001, George Carlin, 2008, Bill Cosby, 2009, revoked in 2018, and Tina Fey, 2010. At the late 1990s and early 2000s, Kevin developed his craft at Philadelphia's comedy clubs and open mic nights, which laid the groundwork for his eventual rise to prominence. His first stand-up special, I'm a Grown Little Man, was released in 2009 and quickly became popular, leading to his breakthrough. Following the success of his critically acclaimed specials Laugh at My Pain, 2011, and Seriously Funny, 2010, Hart's career took off, solidifying his position as a comedic powerhouse. Hart made the move into mainstream popularity by the middle of the 2010s, appearing in successful movies like Think Like a Man, 2012, and Ride Along, 2014, which cemented his status as one of the most well-known and adored comedians in the business. 0F** given, Hart's seventh-hour-long stand-up special, made its premiere in 2020 and quickly became Netflix's most popular stand-up special of the year. He was nominated for an Emmy and a Grammy for Best Comedy Album as a result of this accomplishment. Furthermore, Hart was nominated for an Emmy in the category of Outstanding Actor in a short-form comedy or drama series for his parts in Die Hart and its follow-up Die Hart 2, Die Harder. Hart, a two-time New York Times best-selling novelist, was also honored with a nomination for Best Original Audiobook at the 2021 Audio Awards for his debut Audible original, The Decision. Kevin has also dabbled in business, holding the position of Chairman of Heartbeat, a global media organization that seeks to bring people together with humor.